What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going to check out a panorama from Perseverance. Now, it's not a particular cell. It's pretty much everything because this pan covers the whole area where Perseverance is, right? This one's neat because I pull out some lines in here. Some of them are relevant and some of them not so much. But there's a couple things in here that are supposed to be either hills, small mountains, whatever they call them. I don't believe that it is. I never believed that they were. You guys are going to recognize the area. Again, it's where it's been set down, meaning the Perseverance. Let's just jump right into this, shall we? All right, here it is right here, Perseverance Navcam 360-degree panorama. And you can download it right here. It is a 3.83 meg of photo or image, and it's a PNG. You know, depending on your speed, 20 seconds, 10, 20 seconds. Let's just take a close look at this before we even get into Photoshop. Okay. Now, everyone will recognize this particular object. And there's so much more in here. I mean, of course, I zoomed way in, so everything's kind of pixelated, right? And I don't really care about that so much. Now, I had a video out a while back that actually did, like, something over here. See where the antenna is to the rover right here? It was over here. Well, what they're concentrating on is looking at this area. What I find interesting is this area alone, right here in the middle of the page. And the reason for that, if you look at this, these two right here, and what is going on in the back here on the left, it looks like some kind of weird opening it looks like some kind of face of a front of a structure or an underground. And when I say that, like, again, because we have this opening. But this is what I find interesting. you got these two hills, right? Now, look at the actual manipulation and centering that's around this. It's transparent. Ah. Have a good look at this one right here. I'm going to put a right smack dab in the middle. you got the top of it right here, the one on the left. And it goes down. You can see the lines through the manipulation. The one on the right comes down right here. The one on the left, again, comes down like this. Now, if we go to the one on the right right here, it's pretty much doing the same thing. You can see the outline to it. You can see it dropping here on the right, right here, coming down. And you can see the fine line to it right there. Folks, I've been saying this for a long time. Every time we see these mounds and this trash and stuff like that, look, these are not mounds. Have you ever noticed that everything, whether the mountains or buttes, whatever they call them, they always seem to be lined up somehow? Come on. Buttes, I get. We, got, we had them all over Earth, right? But they're never lined up like a, I, I think I used an analogy one time, like as a used car lot, where you have cars all on the side of each other. This does not make sense to me at all. And again, without even going into this photo, you could see something right here. Now, here's what's funny. I want you guys to take a close look at this. If you have your magnifiers out, have a look at this right here. I'm going to put it right in the middle of the screen again. The one on the left, that mound on the left. Right here, I know my curse is small, but look right here. There appears to be a square or top of what looks like a doorway. Hmm. Is that possible that's what it is? Something's right here. It looks like even a bigger opening, if you will. I'm not sure that these, like I said, are mounds. Here, we have what looks like, again, that opening. And we can see what looks like, almost like it's a rectangular-faced rock. Now, here's the thing. All of this stuff right here, right here in the middle, it almost looks like they put like a line of centering there as well but have a look at this piece right here smack dab in the middle of the screen looks like this upside down v type thing and it looks like something coming out of it we'll see that better as well as you can see lines coming down from the center of this hill coming down again some of the lines in there are relevant and some of them i think when they did these outlines they did it for a reason they make the outline and then they manipulate it within that uh, boxed area and also they're gonna you're gonna see a couple weird things over here as well Without any further ado, let's just jump right into this, shall we? We can zoom in this a lot better because this is the size of the photo it was. And we just blew it up a little bit. Let's have a look at these uh, so-called mounds, shall we? Again, folks, what I'm seeing, I don't know if you guys are seeing this too, we can see all of this kind of fluff, if you will, and centering. You can see it coming up like this. It's funny how they overlap themselves, but that doesn't mean that you can't have hills doing this, like one behind the other, right? So I don't even really care about that. What I care about is I'm seeing the top of this one, Look at the fine line, folks. It's literally got a smooth kind of right side to it. We have this one on the left-hand side doing the same thing as well. Okay. This one, same thing. Although it looks like a little bumpy at the top of this one. I can see it going down just like this. Fine line here, folks. This one goes out a little bit and comes out like this. And you can see the line. So what is it? That's the big question. Now, let me show you this. Again, this looks like some kind of weird little opening right here now is it still a hill 
I'll let you guys determine that. There's something right here. What two objects on top or some kind of details, whatever they may be. And then there's something that does this. You can see it right now. It's white. And it's like lying to something that's going under this hill. Uh, it's just really, really bizarre, right? Here's the same way. Here's that entrance, if you will. Again, I'm seeing this kind of like doing this. And you can see the actual hillside, if you will. You'll notice these right here. Something round right there. You see this other little weird thing right here? We get this upside down V kind of thing, almost like a drainage area. And something is coming out of that. Okay. Let's just jump right in that. I'm going to go right into the full enhancement. Brighten it up. Let's see what we got. Kind of weird and strange things in this photo here, guys. We have something that looks like a pipe here. Coming out. It looks like it's larger here. You can see where there's kind of some more centering right there. But you can see back here, there's something that looks like it's doing this. And you can see the actual rest of the pipe coming out here. Now, is this pipe actually there? It is. It's right here. Let me just go in a little further here. You can see that right there. There's the end of it right there. Okay. We got something right here. This piece right here. You can see it's actually half sand color and half something reflective. Folks, this is what I want you to do. Look at multiple photos with this object in it and it'll change. It's like a lot of the stuff changes in this area how why it should not do that again i'm seeing what looks like a thin wall goes like this you can see this whatever this is right here going down we got something weird right there but when you look at the new high def it looks nothing like that anyway jump back into this let's go across this here here it's almost like they built stuff into the like hillside but like almost like a bulkhead to your basement of your house, right? Everything's like kind of on a slant. You can just go down into the ground or underground. And again, I can see the top of that right there. In fact, I'll just make it brighter if I can. Right there. You can see the very top of it. But folks, it goes down like this. You can see it right there. Actually goes down a little further. I can see the square to this. I can see the lines to this as well. See it right here in the back? Okay. It just expose the lines. Now, this kind of makes sense with this kind of angled, like, again, having this kind of bulkhead thing. Like, in other words, it's sloped down in front of you. So you go down into th this underground or whatever these things are, right? Again, here's that other piece. You can see it here. And you can see this very fine line right here to the left of it. One very faintly to the right of it. You can see them. All I do is one like this with the burn tool. All of a sudden, these lines started to come out, okay? Anybody can do this. This is not rocket science, folks, I promise you. This right here looks like it almost has, like, something right there. Like, there's an opening in the ground, like, right here, going like this. And it appears to have something sticking out of it. Not sure what that is. Here's that other piece I was just showing you, right here. And I'm going to show you, again, right there. It is actually there. It's round, okay? In fact, we can just bring this up from the way it is now. And that's only just taking the crappy color off. But let's go ahead and turn the exposure up. Okay. You can see this a little better. With something coming out of it. Okay. Right here. I can see this doing this. And it looks like there's something right here at the top. Like that. See that? Just weird things here, folks. Okay. Here's that weird thing right here. Almost looks like this. it's got something round right here doing this. But you can see right here. This is down like this. And it almost looks like it's completely rectangular like this. And it's got some depth to it here. See it? And you can just see it like it's kind of hazy there. But you can see like a line like this. And then it kind of disappears. Now, these lines, I'm not sure if this is actual, meaning the real deal. 
I don't know if some of these were drawn in like this here. Let's say I'm, the way I'm drawing it right now, and I'm part of the CGI department, and I'm putting the texture in. Now, let's bounce over these two hills. Again, I don't have to do anything, and I can see that, okay? Now, this is what I'm seeing. What I thought was really weird is when I was doing this, I said, why does this have this line going like this? Looks like there's several other lines, okay? Some other darker feature here. We have this like right here. It looks like it's doing this. Okay. Something looks like it's kind of zigzagged. Some kind of weird darker details to it. Here. Coming out like this. Look at this thing coming around like this here. Looks like it's going into or under something here. And you notice these things down here. I was going to scoot to the left here. Look at this. It stops right there. You can see that, but it does not stop there. This thing actually goes down into this blurring. And you can see what the blurring is right here. But just by using the burn tool, this line was able to come out. Something else doing this. And it looks like something very fuzzy, but it looks like something round right there. These structures, folks. This is structures to me. Again, is it possible that that's a doorway type thing? Look at this right here. On the right side, it looks like you can see it like this dark line doing this. Now, what I found interesting when I backed up, let me just back up here a little bit. It almost looks like the front of something you would see at Cheyenne Mountain, where you can see it goes into a mountain or a hillside, or is it an underground? I don't know. Pure speculation here, folks. I'm looking at this here. Is it possible that it's going like this, coming down, got a doorway? And this thing actually goes down like this in the back. So this is a giant opening, like kind of like a hangar type thing. Is it possible this thing literally goes down like this and you got the back of it here? Because it looks like you can see almost very faintly here as well. I don't really care about that. What I care about is this opening and what looks like a doorway. And again, I'm seeing this one here as well. And it almost looks like you can see like a real dark kind of rectangular opening. I can see, folks, right here. I can see that actually goes through the manipulation. Right here. These are not hills. These could be bunkers. They could be something else. And all of these are... No, sorry. There's one here, one here, and it looks like it's doing this. One here has this nice point to it. I believe these are all structures in a row. These are separated here. And what you're seeing is separate ones laying all in a row. Now, I'm, I can't confirm that because I really can't get into those too much as far as, like, burning through them, right? You can see they get the manipulation pretty covered over these things, and they're further away. At least they appear to be. But this one here almost looks like it's doing this. Like, it's almost like a pyramid shape, right? Back out. This area here again. See something doing like this. Nice angles, nice shop corners. This is in the lower res photo, okay? And I can still see those details pretty darn good. Nice and sharp. You look at the high def one, it looks nothing like that. This is completely covered in. Notice how you see a shadow right here? I'll do it in the original. You see this going up like this, going like this, but yet there's a shadow going down like this. Like, this is an opening... And this top here is casting a shadow down here that goes inside. That's what I'm seeing. Here it is right here, folks. Take a last glance at this. It's all about bringing out the lines, folks. But then you say to yourself, hmm, how does this rover even get into that or even remotely near it? Imagine that. What's that sitting right on the side of this rover? Oh, that's right. Ingenuity. If the rover can't get close enough to it, we have something that can, folks. And there it is. Now, going back to this, these things would be pretty large. This is pretty good distance to the back. So these would be actually pretty decent size, right? And there you go, guys. Folks, what are we seeing here? When I saw these photos for the first time, I looked at that. I said, those are not mountains. They're not. I can see in the lower res photos, you can see where they manipulated and centered these things out. I'm sure some of you have done the same and might have found the same exact thing going on here. 
Now, any of you folks that are analyzing and researching these photos, putting them into Photoshop or GIMP, whatever it may be, give me your take on what you find. I'm curious. When you look at the left-hand side, just things all over the ground. It almost looks like everything there is like on a slant, and you can just open up a bulkhead type thing. And then it looks like some kind of hangars or some kind of large buildings off to the right. We can see what looks like a little square in there. Is that thing set back inside, and we got a doorway we can see? Is it just a front wall sitting there, and we can see the doorway? I don't know. I'm just going by what I see in the photo. Folks, let me hear your take on it. Drop your comments down below. Don't forget to share the video. It's always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so YouTube will share it. And if you're new to the channel, you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that notification bell on the right-hand side. And when you hit it, the drop-down box will come down. Hit all so you'll be notified of any new videos coming out. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. We'll see you in the next one. Peace, guys.